Okay, let's see if we can make sense of sensible and latent heat and how it relates to the graph that's in our textbook. So before we start, let's take a look at this graph and, and make sure we all understand what um, what it means. We take a look da down here at the bottom. This is the heat content in BTUs. So in the example given in the book, um, 32 degree ice cube has 160 BTU of heat in it. And boiling water up here has 340 BTU of heat. And over along the right hand side it does give the temperature of this of the water in our example. So here we have 32 which is ice and then we get up here to 212 or so which is boiling water. Alright so you've already watched the video of the boiling water and the temperatures. Just to be clear, uh, this video starts right about here with the water temperature at about 90 degrees, which equates to 210 BTU. What we're not going to do is discuss this part of the chart because it's ice and ice water and so forth and doesn't really pertain too much to what we're going to be doing in air conditioning. So we're going to watch this video and then we're going to go step by step through this chart. All right, before we start, we are going to be watching the video that talks about what happens between this point and this point and up and down this line. This is where we're in the sensible heat range and you'll see as the temperature of the water starts to rise, you'll see the thermometer rise as well. So let's take a look. So we start out with our pot and we're just going to take a look at the burner. 210 degrees right now. Water is at about 94 degrees so we sit right about here. And as we move on you can see the burner increasing in temperature and the water slowly starting to increase as we can measure it on the thermometer. So that is our sensible heat and that is the heat that can be measured with the thermometer as the temperature rises. Remember that's the change in temperature that can be measured in any substance is your sensible heat. So here we are again a few minutes later. Burner's starting to heat up just a little bit more and the water is now up to 114 degrees so we're slowly increasing and as you can watch it goes to 114 up to 120 that's that sensible heat range that we're taking a look at again. Alright so our water is finally boiling. Now remember we started out right here at about 90, 94 degrees and now we're up to this point where the water is beginning to boil and if you take a look the sensible heat that was required to just to raise the temperature of the water was only 130 BTU. So let's take a look at what happens next. So as you can see the water's boiling and the pan and the burners at 500 degrees but the water's only at about 197. Now this should be 212 but with the laser pointer it's um, not as accurate as um, if you had a thermometer sticking in that water. It's just easier to visualize. So why is that burner 500 degrees and the water's only 212? We'll take a look at that here in just one second. Once again, 536 degrees and the water is pushing 200. So we are right about at the top of the chart right here. And as we, if we let that pot boil till all the water was gone and turned into vapor, um, we move all the way over down this line. And, and as you can see, um, changing the state of water from water to vapor uses almost a thousand BTUs. So it requires a tremendous amount of heat and a tremendous amount of energy to change the state of the water, much more so than just to change the temp temperature. I hope this uh, explains uh, sensible heat and latent heat. If it doesn't, please post your questions in the forum or email me and I will make sure that um, I answer those questions and you understand this thoroughly.